You may already be aware of Altium Designer's phenomenal FPGA and embedded systems design capability. You might even use a nano board. But did you know you could use almost any FPGA development board or production board with Altium Designer? Altium's FPGA Developer Tool, also called the DTO2, provides both hard and soft JTAG chain access to any board as long as you have the JTAG connection available. It can even work with some generic JTAG devices too. Make sure your board is powered down first, then locate the main FPGA's JTAG header. Some boards may not have the header soldered in place, in which case you'll need to solder one on. First connect the ground lead, followed by the rest of the JTAG IOs. There is an extra wire provided labelled Connect, and this should be tied to ground as well. When Connect is grounded, it tells the DTO2 that a target board is connected. Next, if your design has debug capability, you'll need four spare I.O. pins for the soft chain. In my case, I'm using a spare right-angled piece of header block to adapt the genders. Write down the FPGA pins that these I.O.s go to, because we'll have to add some entries to the constraint file for the soft JTAG I.O.s. Now you're ready to power up the board and open Altium Designer. Here's a simple project I had running on a nano board, and now I want to port it to the Spartan 3AN board. This project uses the TSK3000 CPU along with two JTAG terminal instruments which I'm using for C standard I.O. It's also using the character LCD module controller which can drive any standard LCD character module like the one on this board. I'll need to add a new constraint file to the project, but rather than manually typing in all the constraints from the board schematics, I'll just import the UCF file that came with it. Other vendor constraint file formats are supported for this too. I'll also add a few extra constraints to match the existing I.O. port names in my design. That's done using Design Import Port Constraints from Project. Next, I'll add in the pin numbers for the project port constraints. This is fairly easy since there's only a few of them and there's the complete constraint file. In this case, I've also spent a bit of time sorting the records and adding comments to improve the aesthetic so I can share it with other users of the same development board. The final step is to assign the constraint file to a project configuration. In the configuration manager, I'll get there from the project menu here, I'll add a new configuration, then check the box over here to assign the constraints to that configuration, and apply the changes. Now, in Devices view, with the development board powered up, you can see the FPGA and flash device in the hard JTAG chain. Under the FPGA icon, you can also see there's a valid configuration available for building and downloading to this device. I'll kick that process off now. Now the application's been downloaded to the target, I'll open the terminal instruments. As I type in the instrument, the text is written out to the LCD module, and echoed back to the other terminal through the design. I can also debug my code, setting breakpoints and watches, stepping through code, etc. This and the terminal instruments are made possible because of the extra soft JTAG chain connection. So that's how to connect a third-party FPGA development board, or your own custom board, to Altium Designer.